Hello my little skidney beans, long time no see. If you do follow my channel, you'll probably know I've not done an update in ages. And if I'm honest, I've not really been able to pick up the camera and point it on myself and talk. It's been a very challenging five or six months and I've not had the heart to come on here and talk about it because if I did, it wouldn't really be very useful. It'd just be me moping and moaning. Chris, what's been that bad that you've been down and how all your videos are about positivity and how you're mentally dealing with stuff and all that? However, if you think of life like a bucket and things keep getting added to this bucket, it might be job, might be testicle cyst, might be IVF, your bucket will be like close to the top, your mental bucket. And then what'll happen is one thing will tip you over the edge and all your water will spill out. And that's what's happened to me. I've had that much going on for that long that I've pushed it all down, tried dealing with it, but I haven't properly dealt with it and it's all just come flooding out. All right, I'm gonna stop flirting with you now and I'm gonna tell you a bit about it. So I'm just gonna reel these off in random order because I'm literally sat in the car and I should be in work at nine o'clock. It's 20 past eight. So you might even remember my testicle cyst. I've never shown it on here because it'd be too crude X-rated. I will do an OnlyFans if I'm asked, if I must. £5.99, put your card away. I had my cyst drained not so long ago and they told me it was going to be temporary and that it would grow back and I'd need surgery. And it went down to about that size, which is fine, which is, it probably seems big to people who've got normal looks, but to me that was godsend. It, it had been reduced from about that big and I, I'm not joking when I say that. Really at the moment, it sits around that big and Although I do laugh about it, and I have laughed about it, and you know, I can still find see the funny side of it, because at the end of the day, it's a gigantic swinging back in it, so it's funny by default. However, sleeping's bad, my confidence is down, you can see it in my jeans, it looks like I've got a massive swinger, I can assure you, I haven't, it's all infection, but it takes its toll on you mentally, I don't really feel like myself, and it's affecting me in the gym a little bit as well, because I just, you don't feel nice about yourself and you don't feel like putting any effort in because all you're going to look down is and see a big fat stinking testicle. I'm still going gym and I'm still trying but it's just getting a little bit harder. On top of that, let's sideline nicely into my other problem. I've had a locked shoulder. Apparently diabetes can put, put extra strain on your shoulder and your joints and stuff and it basically really started hurting. Um, it's been hurting for about seven or eight months and I decided to get it checked out and the physio checked some of my mobility and my left shoulder, ow, ow, it literally does not move properly and I've been lifting weights and everything with that as heavy as I can go but I did start to notice that me, me overhead press, I could barely move my arm. So that's going to take six or seven months to resolve. I've got, I've, I've got need to go and have a scan on it and then if they find that it's not arthritis, which they think it is, because I'm collecting everything these days, you know. I've got CF, diabetes, a little bit of an heart condition. I thought to myself, I thought, Do you know what? I haven't got arthritis yet. I love that. I was really, really saving myself for osteoporosis, but I'm gonna have to wait a couple of years for that, obviously. Um, and what they basically do is they'll put ink in my arm to see whether everything's working properly, moving properly, and where the veins are and all that stuff. I don't really know. But the waiting list for that is nearly a year. So, two things at the moment, I'm walking round with a giant I'm walking round with a dropped shoulder. It's a good job I'm beautiful, because otherwise, you don't see me sat here with a child, do you? So, it's been a long road. Things are progressing quite well, and hopefully I'll have some updates soon. Positive updates, at least, maybe. But you never know, IVF is a massive drain on your emotions, and I can't really address that in that video sat in my car it has to be done properly that because there's a lot to it and it's been a hard hard journey the bottom line is we've been stuck in the cycle now for three years covid illness timing everything goes against it it's difficult but fingers crossed toes crossed eyes crossed big is crossed i got a new job which should have been amazing i was the team manager of the quality assurance team which I've wanted to do for a long time now I've done many different things that qualifies me for that job but management I've not done for quite a while um, it was about four or five years ago last time I managed so going into it 
I was confident I could pick it up. I was open and honest in the interview that I needed support to do some of the managerial stuff and I would kind of flourish if given the right opportunities and a little bit of support, not loads of support. Anyway, it didn't go as planned. I'm a confident guy, right? And I'll say how it is. I'm not a knob because people get that mixed up. It's like, oh, I can do what I want, say what I want and then say, oh, I just say how it is. I say how it is when it needs to be said how it is, but I'm not a dick and I've got empathy and compassion. My manager had none of that. It was not the time for me to be taking my work home with me and be stressed. I don't let anyone talk to me like crap because I just feel like you should have respect for other people and I've got a lot of respect for myself. Sounds weird to say. But I let that person talk to me like crap and I absolutely hate myself for it. The underlying thing I can't get past here is the fact that Craft Trio was a blessing and a curse. When I first got Craft Trio, you've seen on my videos, I was wild, I was mad for it, I was happy, I was relieved. But as soon as I took that pill, it changed my life. And it changed it for the better, without a doubt. I'm never going to sit here and moan because people will kill for the opportunity that I've got. People will still struggle to get it. I'm still very, very grateful. But it took my life from a 35, 36 year time frame to a 60 seven air maybe even eight air i mean that might be a bit ambitious with all the conditions i'm picking up but it's changed the way i have to look at life because i was cocky a little bit brash a little bit full of myself because i was on a set path i was going to die early and i was living my life i was living it career didn't matter to me it mattered to me that i had nice things so you know my job was okay but i stayed put in the job for five or six years and didn't really give it that much thought because I wasn't going to waste my time on education. I wasn't going to waste my time on getting promoted and be work being my life because I wanted to enjoy my life while I had it. I took that pill and then it was like, shit, I've got to do something now. I haven't got to change the world and I've said that in other videos. I don't have to change the world, but what I have done is I have not set myself up for the future. I've not given myself enough. I need a better job. I need more pension, all that kind of stuff. And that's what that job was. And that's why it hurt me so bad that it went wrong because that was my time to shine. So you probably sat watching this video going, well, what have you done about it? I took a bit of time off. I don't like to admit it, but from that job, I took a bit of time off and I got myself a new job. A lot better for my current situation. It's a job that pays the same actually, which is strange, with half the responsibility. So I'm taking a step sideways to go forward. And that was one of the first positives that I put into place. Second is I had a bit of a word with a psychologist. Now, I understand why people do it and I understand that people get a lot from it. But personally, I like to down question myself and put into place actions that are going to get me out of this shit. And when I was speaking to this the psychologist, we kind of come to the conclusion that by the time I left it too late to speak to her basically. And by the time I've spoken to her, I've already put my own actions in place. I went and got my cyst looked at and that's how I got on the appointment list because dude was kind of ignoring me for months and months, which, you know, NHS is hammered, fair dues, but you've got to fight for yourself, haven't you? The doctor did say to me when I said, you know, am I on kind of an urgent list? He said, well, people are dying, Chris. And I don't mean to sound awful, but I know people are dying. I know the NHS is, you know, struggling. But I've still got to look after myself while I'm alive and I still have to make sure that my longevity is longevity is there as well. And I, want, I, I wanted to be on the list, so they put me on category two urgent. Which doesn't skip people dying or anything, don't get me wrong. It's still going to be a long wait, but it's a bit quicker. I'll go more into detail in another video. I'm just trying to get back into it, to be honest, because it's difficult. There's talking out of the camera stuff and you forget how to do it. And I'm struggling a little bit. Bottom line is, I've been through a bit of a bad patch, but I've taken a lot of actions and I am getting back to normal. Each step of the way, I down, down question myself. If I fix this, is this going to make me feel better? Yes, fix it. It's when you get, it's when I, well, when I personally got to the point where I said, you know what, I can't, I can't fix this. That's when I started to worry. I took a little bit of time out and fixed everything. This isn't really a great update, I know that, but... I will be out with another video shortly with a proper update and a bit more insight into what's actually been happening. But I just wanted to basically show you all that I wasn't dead. 
let me know how you are because there's a few people who do comment on my videos and I really enjoy, you know, interacting with people.